were talking about this restaurant in Pennsylvania. Uh, some of the employees walked out because they thought the names of the drinks were disrespectful, all right? So one of the names were Caucasian, which is a white Russian, and they were going to call a drink a Negro. Now, we don't know what the Negro drink is. We don't know what's in it. I have no clue. But the employees walked out. So we're asking, what would you have done in that situation? Ms. Pat. Ask what was in the Negro. All right, so let's say it was... I don't know, dark liquor and, and with a little watermelon on it. Well, I don't know. Man, shut up. Y'all just watermelon. making up stuff. <laughs> well, I don't know why black people scared of watermelon. White people eat That's watermelon right. too. Watermelon is a symbol of freedom. I mean, but it's good. So I take a drink with a watermelon if it's pretty good and it's got the right, it's got top shelf because I, I don't drink a lot. So. so you wouldn't be mad at the Negro? I mean, it's a restaurant with drinks names. Come on, this world is too damn sensitive. No, I'm not mad. You ain't calling me no Negro. No, okay. Charlemagne? Uh, I, I'm with Miss Pat. My sensitivity meter is not set to ten, so I'm not the person to ask about this. But the answer to me is, I probably wouldn't quit. Like Negro is the word used to describe. It's on your birth certificate. I don't know if it's on your birth yes, certificate. Yes, it's on my birth certificate. I was born in '72. Look at your race. Mine it's say look. black boy male. No, it don't. It say Negro. No. What year was you born, Charlemagne? 1978. Or you a little bit after me, they had changed it. I'm 72, <laughs> Negro. Now, it so might I, be the Mine says black African-American, I thought. No, Negro. I what mean, year was you born? Mine says black. Same years around Charlemagne? Yeah, well, see, I'm, I'm, I'm 50. I'm a little older than you guys. Mine say Negro. And those My are, granddaddy said the E-R. And those aren't slurs, though. Like, Negro is the word used to describe black people of black African heritage. Caucasian is uh, white-skinned of European origin, fresh out the Caucasus Mountains. So I don't... Now, See if they said the ER is. drink, I would bag up on the ER drink. If they said nigga juice and cracker punch, uh, <laughs> nigga punch, cracker punch, that's different. You know what I mean? Not if you mix it together because it came it become a biracial thing and it'd be better. <laughs> Call it the Obama then. <laughs> By the way, they have those. <laughs> they have, you can go to restaurants and order the Obama. I'm not, I don't think I, I don't. I don't think I like the Negro drink. Why not? Because I, I just feel funny. Like, you, you got white people at the ball. Give me three Negroes. It just feel funny. Well, I can know, see that. They ain't going to holler at like Three Negroes gonna, on rocks. They going to be like, three Negroes. They not going to holler at it. Like, you got, you got really any Negroes lit. today? It just, it so, just ne but funny. Negro is not on the same level of the, as the N-word. Negro has never been a slur. I don't know. I just, I just don't feel right to me. If it was called the color, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's different. Or the coon. So, how would you different. feel if a black person's at the ball saying, i take four of them crackers. And some crackers to eat at the ball. <laughs> and if it, what you, no, that's a good. If it was called the Caucasian and the darkies, you know what I'm saying? No, just the, the Negroes. Caucasian and the spooks. You know what I mean? That's different. But Negro, that don't, don't really bother me like that. I don't know. I, just, I get what you're saying, though. I, I get right. how you can hear some white people saying that and be like, "What the hell are they saying?" But they're they're in a place where they are, you know, it's drinks. Yeah. The world is too damn sensitive. Okay. For, my problem is, do you got the money for the Negro? And what state is this? Pennsylvania. Okay, let me ask you a question. Yes. There's restaurants here in New York. I won't say their names because we love these establishments, but they have uh, meals called the Obama. Even in Atlanta, they got meals called the Obama, and it's like chicken and waffles. Even though I, chicken is also a symbol of freedom. But is that a thing, y'all? I, I just don't, I don't know. The Negroes just sound, just, I don't know. Just, let me get the Obama. It just sounds cool. And the Obama's huh? dark meat and white meat to represent his biracial. Shut up, no, it's not. Shantae, what? good morning, man. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Oh, you're not Shantae. What's your name, bro? How you know this My name's Shantae? Joe. It's 2023. <laughs> you better cut it out of me. You right. You right. What's your name? My name's Joe. Okay, Joe. Hey, what, Joe. What's your thoughts, Joe? I'm doing all right. I listen to you guys every morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What you think? Oh, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys literally break my day every morning. But, uh, yeah, no, about this topic you guys are talking about. Um, about this, uh, this drink. Yes, the Negro and you the know, Caucasian drink. Does this yes. offend you? You know, I'm Puerto Rican and Italian, and it's 2023. We should all, you know, basically look at it as it, it shouldn't be a racial thing. I'm going to be no honest more. with you. You have no say in this conversation, sir. I was Damn, thinking It's that. called Negro and Caucasian. <laughs> I don't want to hear from a Puerto Rican and Italian. But what would the Puerto Rican drink be called? I don't know. That ain't what my business. Just like it ain't his. Hello, who's this? This is Shauna. Hey, Shauna. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, so we're asking, you know, the, the Negro drink. Do you got a, a problem with that? Um, first of all, I want to know, is the other black or white? It's probably white. white. Yeah, I have a problem with that. But they have a Caucasian drink too. 
They have a Caucasian drink too, but you know, Charlotte, they know from at a a four three two. So you know how we feel about those type of situations. Absolutely. That's not cool at all. That's not I mean, what about the restaurants where you where you go in and they 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 pay the waitress to be rude to you? They cuss do? you out. Yeah, yeah, it's a restaurant where they cuss well, you out. They like cuss the bitch restaurant and uh, yeah. Court. So it's no yeah. different. People, you know what you getting when you go to this establishment. Yeah. So if they walk in, they call you a b or whatever. You pay for that. Then they got a restaurant. You go in there, all the lights are cut off. So it's it's what you if you walk in. Restaurant with all the lights cut off. <laughs> That's that restaurant dog. Diplo went at. He ain't know when Diplo. <laughs> That's what you're talking about, Miss Pat. Diplo. That's the one earlier call. He said he doesn't know uh, if a man gives him oral is not gay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, him. Mm -hmm. Don't look down. Yeah, so, look you down. know, people pay for that rudeness. rudeness. Yeah, but I don't know about the Negro thing. Call us up right now. What do you think? 800-585-1051. There's a bar, a restaurant, I should say, out in Pennsylvania that is naming uh, a couple of drinks. One is called Caucasian, and the other one is called the Negro. Now, the employees walked out. How do you feel about it? It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We have Miss Pat here. She's our guest host. And we're asking, uh, there's a restaurant out in Pennsylvania that uh, is naming two drinks, Caucasian and Negro. Now, the employees are pissed off. They're walking out. Uh, and we're asking, what are your thoughts? Hello, who's this? Oh, hey, this is TJ. Hey, TJ. Hey, Good morning. TJ. What would you do in that situation, TJ? What's your thoughts? So I, I could walk out. I would have been walked out. I believe we have, and, and I'm biracial. My mother's Hispanic. My father's black. But we have to stand up. That is just, it's wrong. It's completely wrong. They're disrespecting us, and it's not tolerable. Like, Can you tell me what's wrong? We don't even need like, to spend like, our money in there. I mean, I just want to know, like, what's, what's offensive about Caucasian and Negro? I, I didn't know those were slurs all of a sudden. I mean, I don't think it's just, not, it's, I, wanna, I don't want no one to address me like that. You know, Negro. But it's on my birth certificate, and I was born in 72. And I'm not, nobody's calling nobody a Negro. Mm -hmm. It's a name of a drink. And we was just saying, there's restaurants out there that be rude to you. They have different names. I mean, what, 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 I went to a restaurant in Houston, and they had the Obama meal at the breakfast house. At the breakfast club, the That's restaurant down. Yeah. So if white people walk in and say, I don't want a meal called a breakfast, with Obama. I just want chicken and waffle, whatever grits and eggs. Yeah. I just think we're too sensitive as people. I mean, it's a bar. And the word Negro, I mean, we don't use it in our everyday vernacular now, but back in the 60s, they used to use it all the time. You go listen to all them old MLK Jr. speeches, that's how he was referring to black people. Like the Negro in the Constitution, the Negro in the American dream, the Negro is part of, you know, a huge community who seek new freedom in every area of life. These are MLK Jr.'s words. And this was before we became black people. I don't know. Hello, who's this? <laughs> I don't know. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? Hey, yo, take us off Bluetooth for speaker, brother. Yo, hey, yo, man, the guy, DJ, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Hear What's you? your thought, brother? Good morning. Man, me personally, man, we would have been fighting up in that motherfucking short. I'm so confused, man. I'm not saying that y'all wrong. I just didn't, I don't know when Negro became a slur. It, it's not the word Negro. It's just the fact and the principle that he, he can do that and a black person going to be okay with that. Would you be okay with that? Well, there's a Negro drink and there's a Caucasian drink. If it was just a Negro drink and we were singled out, I would probably be like, what is up with this? But being that there was a Caucasian drink. Look, look, look white, white, white or black. If I'm a white person, I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying, offended as well. So it's, it's in place on both sides. Why would you be offended about an actual word? Though? Like Caucasian means white skinned people what a, of it's European a drink. origin. And they're known for making these types of names for their drinks. I wouldn't have been offended. Now I would have been offended if the black, if the if the Negro only had gin in it and the Caucasian had better alcohol, <laughs> then I would want to fight. Amber, good morning. Good morning. How you feeling? I'm great. How what are you guys doing today? Good. How are you, Amber? Hey, what, Amber. What do you think about the Negro and Caucasian drink? I think first off, we have to, uh, you know, understand that these people chose not to do this during Black History Month. First of all. Second of all, I feel like it ain't Black you know, History Month no more. People, I, you said yes, sir. It's March. I know. I'm saying they didn't do this during Black History Month. Oh, got you, drink, got you, got you, got you, got you. Got you. They have enough sense not to do that. Mm -hmm. But 
also, you know, these days everything is about going viral and getting that attention. Um, I feel like they just did that to, you know, maybe get that certain notoriety, but then take into consideration, you know, their employees or how anyone else would take it. I feel like this is the world, you know, that we live in these days. True. All right. Well, thank you, Mama. Hey, I just I I just Googled Caucasian cocktail. Well, actually, I Googled, Googled Caucasian Caucasian drink. Mm -hmm. And when you Google it, it's a recipe, the Caucasian cocktail recipe. There's a bunch of them. There's well, another the drink called drink? the Dude's Caucasian. What's the Negro? Did you Wait, did you Google the Negro drink? I didn't Google the Negro, but the Caucasian drink is uh, you fill a rock, you fill a glass full of ice, pour in two shots of vodka and three shots of Kahula, top off with milk. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm black toast intolerant. It gotta stay white. Ugh. Now go and do the Negro drink. That's called the Caucasian cocktail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it's the Kahlua. Negro drink. It's Kahlua, not Kahula. Kahlua. What I said? I don't know what you said. Kool Aid. Negro drink. Let <laughs> you me said see. Kool Aid. <laughs> They have one called the Negro Negroni, but it's not Negro. No. I don't even know what a Negroni is. And it's, let me see why it's called a Negroni. It's called a Negroni. It's borrowed from Italians, named after a count named Camillo Negroni, who asked for its creation. And it's made out of gin, sweet vermouth, and Campari. I don't know what that is. What's the moral of the story? I, the moral of the story is I don't know when Negro and Caucasian became slurs, but I mean, if y'all want to be mad, y'all can be mad. I, yeah, I, don't, I don't like the Negro drink. Give me four Negroes on rocks. Nah, I don't like that. I mean, if a person, if I'm in there and I see it on the menu, that's something that they do every week. That's the that's what the restaurant do. I yeah. wouldn't get mad. It's the same way you go to the rude restaurant. I personally probably wouldn't go there, but I'm not going to get mad because that's the, that's their theme this month. Okay. People, Some people like themes and they go get it. That's right. Hey. Nah. All right. Well, when we come back, we got your room report. We'll tell you who just had a baby and who's in a new relationship. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.